That filler sure is pretty. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for John Wick 3 Parabellum. I have been a big fan of the series. I went into the first film thinking it was going to be garbage, and I was very, very heavily and pleasantly surprised. And the second film, while not exactly having the same gusto in terms of motivation and story as the first one, it still had some absolutely fantastic action. And that tunnel gunfight is still one of the best gunfights put on film in I would say the last 10 years if not more. So with the third film, we are at the precipice now for John's mortality as his excommunicado is put into place and he is literally fighting for his life. This film is a great stunt work feature. There are so many different variations of stunts, not just with humans, but with animals, with vehicles, with objects, with situational matters. There is so many variations of stunts fights, gunfights, and various other things in the film. The creativity is constantly throughout the film in terms of giving you guys a different fight scene, a different gunfight, a different action scene. However, and this is a big however, it doesn't mean anything. For a large point of the film, John Wick is trying to reach a person who can help him with his excommunicado. He is trying to reverse this. Along the way, he meets a variety of characters, including Halle Berry, who, while isn't in this film as long as I would have thought, she has a great role in it, and the dogs have some fantastic stunts. All the people who are associated with John Wick back in New York are facing the consequences of essentially aiding him in killing a member of the high table. We see Ian McShane going through this, we see Lawrence Fishburne going through this, and we see Angela Houston, who actually has a bit of a connection to John's past, which is a little cool. Like, this is the one little tidbit about his character that him, and Halle Berry has one little bit too, but really, we actually find out a little bit about John's history with this woman. So he goes on this journey, he goes through all these perils, he goes through all these issues while we see New York kind of falling to the wayside of its own punishment. And then he is given a means. He's given a means to try and reverse his things, and he comes back to New York and then he just says, fuck it. That's honestly how the film goes. It essentially is a filler level. A great looking filler level and an entertaining filler level. But it's still a filler level. Because when the film ends, it ends exactly how I expected this movie to be. Essentially, it's nothing except a really great fight scene. And I'll give them credit, there's some really great stunt work guys in this movie. It has two guys from the raid. It has the dog and the guy that Rama fought at the end of the second movie. And they admittedly are moving in slow motion. Keanu Reeves is a fantastic actor for what he's doing. The guy is plus 50 and he can still move far better than I can. However, when he's fighting these two guys, you can tell that he is setting up. He's waiting to get hit. There's shots that should have been edited tighter and admittedly these guys are really moving in slow motion in comparison for Keanu. So that's a little bit, like sometimes the shots are much better and they hide that, but I still don't understand why they don't have the editor from the first movie. She did a fantastic job with the first film. The guy who edited the second film edits this one as well, and he's an okay editor, but admittedly he's not as good as her. She was much, much better. It was also really cool to see Mark as a villain, as a adversary to John in this film, mainly because I've worked with John before. I worked with him on a Hallmark movie. It was pretty cool because one time we were in a gym and he was like, all right, let's get ready. And he started doing these calisthenics and these flips and these stretches that was like, holy crap, this guy is plus 50. And he is in much, much better shape than anyone else in this entire area right now. It was great to have a villain that, wow, was a threat was also someone you kind of enjoyed their presence for. That was something that was missing really in the f second film, except for maybe Common's character. So in the end, John Wick 3 is a fun time, but in terms of ranking this film with the other two films, it is definitely the third best. It has great action, but it has little substance. It has great choreography and setups and variety, but it doesn't bring any of that to its story. 
because essentially this is just a setup for the fourth movie which I didn't even know they were going to be making one until I walked into the theater and I read an article saying that they were excited to make a fourth film. So that essentially kind of ruins the aspect of this film and it really makes it as a placeholder. One of the guys who I went and saw the film with had a perfect summarization. It's a fun time, but when they make the fourth film, you will not have to have seen the third film to really understand what was going on. That is essentially just how little of anything happens in this movie. I still enjoyed it. I'm still saying I enjoyed it, but I don't think I'll ever care to watch this again, unlike the first two movies. So in the end, I'm going to give John Wick 3 Parabellum a 4 out of 7. Let me know what you guys thought of the film. I'd love to see your comments and about not only the fight scene, but also the story and just the idea of what you think might happen with the fourth film. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. <sniffs> By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.